Okay, and before we set up the rest of the functionality, let's just talk about the conventions. And first, let's start with actions. Like I already previously mentioned, it can be any string you want. But in order to avoid some weird typos, a convention is to set this one up as a variable. And then you're just avoiding some silly bugs. Just to showcase that if we go back to our, our application, notice in here, I have clear list, but what if in the reducer, I mistyped, and I said, clear lists. Now, do these ones match? And the answer, of course, is no. So now what happens when I clear the list? Well, I'll have big fat error, because we are right now returning undefined. That's the default one, since we're not hitting this condition, correct? And a way around that is effectively to set up variables that have the same name. So if you have clear list, yes, the variable name is also going to be clear list. So why don't we right away set up those variables? We have only three pieces of functionality. So it's going to be pretty quick. So I'm going to go with clear list. And that is one is equal to my clear and underscore list. Then I want to do the same for reset, something we're going to work on in the next video. So reset list. Now that one is equal to reset and underscore list. And then lastly, I have remove item. So again, const and remove item. And at the very end of this section, we'll actually set it up in a separate file. And we'll import that because that is a pretty typical setup since you're not going to handle everything in just one file. So remove underscore and then item. And now where I'm checking in the reducer as well as in the clear list where I'm dispatching, instead of passing this string directly, I go with clear list. That's my variable, which holds the string. So this just omits some weird bugs. Let's save this. Let's first double check. We don't want any bugs here. Yep, we can nicely do so. And uh, now let's talk about the state that we're returning from reducer. You see, what if I go to a reset list, something we're going to work on in a second, and just pass some random stuff. Now, this could be because I just haven't created yet the functionality in the reducer to handle that dispatch, or I just, for some weird reason, access the wrong variable. What if I do something along the lines of type and then something? Again, we'll have big fat error, correct? Because we're not handling it here. And essentially we have two approaches. Just to showcase, bam, this is what we'll get. We only have clear list over here. And you can always return a state like so. So I have a bunch of conditions I'll check for. Reset list, I'll check for remove item and all that. Now, if the action type does not match any of my conditions, I'll simply return a state. So notice I clear, that should definitely work. And once I reset, technically nothing happens. I'm just returning a state, which was right before the update. And since we did not perform any update, I just return state and call it a day. Now, this is a valid approach. However, how are we going to know if we have a bug? So alternatively, you can actually throw error. And this is very useful because it right away tells you like, something's wrong with your application, you need to check it. And the way we do that, and I think I'm just going to leave this one for your reference just in case. So return state. And the way we throw the error, we go throw new error. Again, this is a JavaScript thing. We're not making this up just because we are in React. Then I'll set up a template string and you'll see in a second why. So I'll say no matching. And essentially, I'll look for the action type action, and then type. So I'll access it. And I'll just add here a text action and type. Let's save this. And like I already said, probably 20,000 times, effectively, this just helps me. If I see this, I know that, listen, somewhere, I'm dispatching 
an action that I'm not handling it. So it's very useful. Notice reset, bam. And at least I can go to console and I can be like, no matching something action type. So let me double check the action that I'm dispatching. So essentially, those are the conventions when it comes to actions, as well as how we handle an action that we're not catching in the reducer.